I don't have any tricks or cheats or cheese how to get through these. This is pretty much just how the devs intended these insurance fraud missions to go. But once you figure out how to get multipliers and all that, I haven't had too much trouble getting through any of them. So we're going to start out trying to avoid bumping into cars because you get no points and it slows you down. We're going to start out identifying where the intersection is. There it is. And then we're going to fairly close to the intersection run down any of the oncoming lanes in any of the avenues away from the intersection. And then preferably we're going to run one or two cars deep so that the third or fourth car that hits us will send us flying into other vehicles and we'll get that multiplier like right there. That time we flipped over a car and then two cars behind it hit us. So anytime there's traffic, that's going to be good for us. we want to get that multiplier going it's difficult to hit that money total without using that multiplier but perhaps even more importantly is the adrenaline bar the more physical damage you receive getting hit by vehicles getting run over by vehicles it will fill that yellow adrenaline bar And what that's going to do is allow us to take part in a much more chaotic situation where cars are blowing up and we're going flying high in the air and we're racking up the money as that happens. And we're also getting that multiplier. So now here our adrenaline's going. And you see when as soon as our adrenaline bar was full that prompted one of the vehicles we ran into to explode and sent us flying in the air and now well our adrenaline's gone now we got to build it back up but that's the idea and i'm going to go through it a couple times i know the video is kind of long but you can quit anytime obviously anytime you feel like you've got it but I made it a little long to kind of show an entire mission from beginning to end so you can see what you're going to need to do. You know, we're all, all these accidents we've been in, we need $4 million and we're only over seven fifty. So it might seem like we're not doing that great. And in fact, we probably aren't doing that great, but we're going to just keep Filling that adrenaline meter, trying to get some multipliers, and eventually we just have to trust that we're going to get into a big money-making chaotic accident. You also may come across from time to time, I've definitely had it happen, where there are literally no cars for you to interact with. Of course, you can quit if you want, but you do have a considerable amount of time to work with. So even like right now, when it seems like well, there's not even any cars for me to use here and it's frustrating but still if you stick with it the game will probably send you enough cars at some point that you can meet your goal
our adrenaline is full right now, but it's not ticking away because it hasn't been activated. So don't worry about that. If they eventually send us some cars, we'll be okay. The meter will stay full. And then what we're going to try to do is hit a car head on running at it with a full adrenaline bar and that will trigger the vehicle we hit to explode and send us in the air. And this is kind of the most important part. I still can't believe we have no cars here, but when it does happen, you can use your control sticks to guide you as you fly through the air. So you're going to guide yourself back towards the intersection and you're gonna to try to angle your camera so you can see what's going on and you're gonna guide yourself back towards the intersection and the cars and land on top of other cars. There's our explosion. So now we fell to the ground, we're not in the air, you might as well get up and go try to get hit. And now we're out of adrenaline. So that didn't work very well either. And we're not doing particularly well. We only have 876K, but there is seven and a half minutes left. So I'm not gonna give up on this particular mission just yet. There's a good example of getting knocked into the intersection and you just start ricocheting and bouncing off a bunch of cars and that gives you your multiplier. Adrenaline bar is full. So now we just need a good explosion to toss us in the air. preferably getting hit back towards that crowded intersection. That's always good if you can set that up, you know, a crowded intersection, because once you have a full adrenaline bar and you get knocked back into that intersection, you're going to have a lot of cars there that you can easily guide your falling body into. Here we go, adrenaline's pumping, so I'm just guiding myself back to this crowded intersection. Cars explode and toss us in the air, so just pull yourself back, boom. Pull yourself back into the intersection as you go flying away. Now we're making some real money. Once you're laying there still and nothing more is going on, jump back up, try to get hit again before your adrenaline bars out. Now, if you look at the money we've made so far, now you can see why you maybe don't want to give up on any particular insurance fraud mission because once you fill up that adrenaline bar just by getting hit by cars, each car that hits you and causes you pain and injury, your adrenaline bar fills up. And then once you trigger an explosion and you start flying in the air, guide yourself back towards the intersection to the other cars and you'll get a multiplier and explosion and airtime bonuses, just like we're doing here. And that's pretty much it. That's how it's designed. And that's, that's the way to get to your money total. Adrenaline bar is full. We just got a nice multiplier by getting knocked back into several stopped vehicles. Now we're gonna run into a car head on. And finally, there's an explosion. Now just guide yourself onto these stopped vehicles. If no vehicles are stopped, just find cars that are turning and going slow. So I'm just guiding myself back towards these cars. They're blowing up. Now I'm off on the sidewalk. You might as well use the button to get yourself up. We took advantage of a little bit of our adrenaline left. That's pretty much it.
You can watch the rest of the video. We do, in fact, get to our money total and check off this insurance fraud mission. And it's also weirdly kind of fun to watch for some reason. So good luck, everybody. No, no, fuck, no! Ah! Ah! Woo-hoo! <laughs> 